What's up guys, today we're going to talk about promises. In the previous videos, we have talked about the callback approach for handling async corporations. We discussed about the callback hell problem and how we can avoid getting into callback hell. In this video, we will talk about promises. So before we get into code, let's first understand why promises exist and what a promise is. So promises exist to make async programming easy. So when you use promises, you can write async code like as you are writing synchronous code. And a promise is basically an object that represents a future operation. So once you have a promise, you can either resolve that promise or you can reject a promise. So when you resolve a promise, it means that promise was fulfilled. And if you reject a promise, it, it means it was not fulfilled. So here we are using ES6 promises in Node.js. So I am using Node version uh, 6.10.1. So it supports uh, ES6 promises. So you can check it here on Node.green. So 6.10. series uh, supports promises here. So we will use ES6 promises in Node.js. So here we have a promise constructor which takes a function which have two parameters one is resolve and the other one is reject so if you have to fulfill the promise you call the resolve and if you have to reject the promise you call the reject so when a promise uh, so once you have a promise you can call a then function which uh, and on if a promise is resolved then on fulfill function will be called now this function is called the on fulfill function and if a promise is rejected then this function will be called which is called the on rejection function so in this case we are just doing an if else in the constructor which takes a function and we are currently rejecting the promise so if i run this file currently es6 native promise.js so let's just run this file so i'm just going to clear this okay let's just clear this and run node and the file name is es6 native promise.js so we got some error so because we rejected the promise so this can uh, this if doesn't uh, execute it so this else was executed so we rejected the promise and in that case this on rejection function will be called and we just uh, printed the error that we passed from here and once we uh, resolve the promise means that promise was fulfilled then this resolve function will be called which will call this on fulfill function which will print out this message that some message we can pass any data to this function by passing to the resolve so if i change it to true in this case this on fulfill function will be called so let's execute this file now and you say it's printed some message so this is how we use promises so currently we are using an if else but basically we will wrap some async code in a promise so we will promiseify our async operation using a promise so and also one more important thing to note is rather than writing uh, our code like this we can write the code in a neater way because we have a convenient catch function so if I just uncomment this so we can write it like this so once we have a promise we can call the then function and this function is the on fulfill function and this catch takes the rejection function so if uh, the promise was rejected then this function will be executed and if it was resolved then this function will be called and if you work with promises you will see uh, people using this code rather than specifying both uh, on fulfill and on rejection in the then so if i run this it will print the same thing some message on the console so let's run this and it printed the same thing so now let's wrap some async code in our promise and then we will use the same and then function uh, to write our own fulfill function and this catch to handle when the promise was rejected so in es native promise 2 file we have this async code where we are making a HTTP request to our endpoint so we are uh, firing a HTTP get request to Olympic 2016 ranking 4 and if you remember from previous video it returns the country name Russia so here we are using HTTP module for writing our get request but we could have used 
the request module in that case our code will be less so here we have a promise constructor so we will call the get ranking function uh, that will uh, uh, give us the promise so this returns a promise so here we are using the promise constructor to which takes a function which have two parameters resolve and reject so here we have http get request and if uh, we get a response so if we get a response uh, status code uh, which is not in the range of 200 and 299 it means there was an error in that case we will reject the promise and if we do get a yeah, and if we get the end uh, event trigger in that case we will resolve the promise it means we get all the data in that case we will resolve the promise and we are passing that result which will be the uh, string in that case so it will pass it here and in that case this will be printed if we pass uh, if we resolve the promise if we reject the promise then this uh, on rejection function will be called and one more thing we are using the error event here to and in that case if we if any every any error happens with the request we will just reject the promise so if i run this file uh, which is es node es6 native promises 2 if we run this file we will get the our result which is uh, the response that we get ranking for and the country Russia but we if we make a request uh, to an endpoint like in our end uh, back end we don't have uh, uh, data for a rank of 10 then we will get uh, a response code of 404 in that case this will execute and that will reject the promise and in that case uh, this on rejection function will be called so now let's execute this one so we got this error code 404 and our promise was rejected. So this is how you uh, promiseify your async operations and in that you can resolve the promise or you can reject the promise and if promise is resolved this on fulfill function will be called and if the promise was rejected then this on rejection function will be called. Now let's make multiple requests so in this one we just have one request. So in this ES native promise 3 we make uh, three promises so first we make a call to get promise so it, it will return a promise and once we have a promise we will call it then which will and in the inside then we will return another promise and since we are returning another promise we can chain onto that so we have a then function on the promise where we will create we will log the response from that uh, uh, re uh, result from that response and then we will create another promise and we will return that promise so we can call the then function on that and then we will print out the response from the request and if any error happens inside any of these requests then this catch function uh, catch which have the own rejection function that will be called so in this case uh, all this uh, will execute in sequence so first this will be executed which will print the response from the first request then we are creating another promise and on on the uh, on when this promise will be resolved it will print out this uh, response from the second request and then we are firing another promise uh, another request and on then we are printing out the response from that third request so if i execute this file you can Let's just clear out and execute this file. So it's node native promises and three. Okay, there was some error. Okay, we just mess it up. So we got our response one, then response two and response three. And if any error happens inside that, so if I try to make a request, so let's try to make a request rather than uh, using the response uh, reusing the ISO code from the response 1 response 2 let's uh, try to make a bad request I will specify the ISO code here so I will just delete that and let's make a request to an endpoint that we don't support our at backend so in that case this cache will be fired so if I execute this now see we got error so we got our first response we got our second response but the third request failed so we rejected the promise 
so that's how promises work so you resolve the promise or you reject the promise and if you reject the promise you will get this uh, on rejection function that we specify with the cache uh, executed so I will check I will just replace it back then so now here we are using the HTTP module we could have used the request module so let's see how we can use request module to promiseify our async operation so here we are using the request module for making HTTP requests and you can see the code is much less because the HTTP is a very low level API so here again we are doing the same thing but we are using a request module here so if any error happens with the request we are rejecting the promise and if it returns a so if there was no problem with the request but it responds with a status code that is not between the range of 200 to 299 we again reject the promise and if both of these conditions are not true then we it means that our uh, response was correct and in that case we resolve the promise so if I execute this it will give us the same result so let's just clear out and execute this file which is promise 4 we get the same result so this is how we can and you can see this is much neater than writing that callbacks where we nest callbacks inside another callback so here you can read uh, like this is a promise and once this is fulfilled we will execute this and once the previous promise is fulfilled we will execute this and if that is fulfilled we will execute this and if any of these uh, reject any of these results in an error in that case that promise will be rejected and in that case this uh, catch will be fired this function will be executed so this is how promises work and it makes async uh, uh, programming look like more like we are coding a synchronous code so in the pre and the next one we will talk about uh, some promise libraries like q library and the bluebird library and we will use we can see how can uh, we can use this library to promiseify our request